great rising good afternoon good evening wherever you are Trezana Staples here coming to you with my Sunday motivational talk <laughs> um this is for the Phoenix Rising Stroke Survivors. And it's not a group or a club. I just, when I had my stroke and when I was able to get on social media, I uh, recall um, seeing images of a Phoenix bird. Um, I saw the, you know, I, I'm... I am a, um, uh, what is that, superhero fanatic. I remember the comic books with, with the Dark Phoenix, so the movies are, you know, with the uh, Avengers, um, X-Men, I'm that girl. And I go all the way back to, um, Dr. Spock. But anyway, before I begin my my talk, I call us um, Phoenix Rising because we we rose from the ashes. We're still rising. We'll always be rising. So Phoenix Rising Stroke Survivors, know that you rose from the ashes. But before I begin. You still have time to put in your submissions, your um, a raffle uh, purchases um, for Wired Up and Stoned Out, um, the fundraiser for Trezana A. Staples Alternative Stroke Recovery Fund. And I am thankful and very grateful for those who have purchased raffle tickets. They, there is a $5 raffle ticket and if you win, you'll get $50 of wired up and stoned out jewelry. The $10 raffle ticket, if you win, you'll get $100 of wired up and stone out jury and the winners will also receive Trezon a package of Trezana's natural essentials so um please support and um you know just support and if, if you don't want to purchase a raffle just make a donation go to my website Trezana Staples and you can make a donation. So thank you so much for your support. And I truly, truly thank Wired Up and Stoned Out for the generous um, contribution in her gift. So thank you. Something out here just bit me. But anyway, um, back to what I was going to say. As a Phoenix Rising Stroke Survivor, um, you know, we go, or we should be every day having some sort of, whether it's physical exercise or mental exercise or speech exercise, regardless on when or how long you've had your, your stroke. For me, it's, it'll be four years for me on Octo October 3rd. But I still have to exercise every day. Mind, body, and spirit. I still have to, you know, so I, I take a, um, a, 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 I take a Qigong class um, a Tai Chi class, a virtual Tai Chi class once a week 
I have my yoga class once a week. And then in between those times, you know, I have my acupuncture and then I do my exercises at home. You know, even if it's just walking or just being in my garden, but I do still do my um, I pra- my practices at home. And sometimes it get humdrum. It gets humdrum. Um, sometimes I don't feel like getting out of bed, and when I don't, it's like I was thrown back a notch or two. So it's a never ending. It's a never ending um, life for stroke survival. But, you know, sometimes it's humdrum. I need some motivation of things that I know I need to be doing. You know, um, things that I, you know, having motivation to, you know, uh, put up stuff I took out. There's some no see around here. I don't see them, but I, I can feel them. Um, so, you know, I take out books lay them down and before i know it a week or two goes by and that i still haven't put them up the motivation to do that um the motivation to get my book my book completed i moved the lead the deadline several times because i don't i didn't have the motivation to complete the book um so sometimes we have to have motivation, and sometimes these motivational speakers' videos, it do, they don't, you know, in my mind, it can be helpful, but it doesn't pertain to me. I'm, you know, I'm a stroke survivor. They don't know my life, but I um, linked up with um, uh, the neural nerds. If you ever heard of the neural neural nerds uh joe so rock i can't remember his last name sorry joe um but joe put out a instagram um uh i guess notification that you know he you know needed some you know feedback or stroke survivors long story short he started a motivational um nonprofit or LLC to help stroke survivors and he just had his five year stroke anniversary. Um he also was on Facebook too. So um you know I was uh he asked if I wanted to um be one of the first um um participant of the um Joe So Rock Motivational Club. I'm and I'm thinking I'm thinking like okay I'm I made up a couple other words but Joe So Rock. <laughs> but anyway, and it's a four week program, and he he makes me be accountable. I have homework. We laugh. We talk. Um, he gives a different perspective um, as opposed to what I think and you know just give me gives me confirmation and encouragement and it's not just he's not just talking to me like he's doing a lecture and I'm listening we have an interactive conversation and so what I'm trying to say is stroke survivors if you if you have fallen into the humdrum and you need a little motivational anything you can look out um connect with other stroke survivors whether they're in person or whether they are um virtual um but check out other stroke survivors who 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 motivates you not everybody will motivate you. Some people are still, you know, stuck in the the wave of depression, like, woe with me. And 
we do that from time to time. We don't have good days every day. You know, I have more good days now than I did before. It gets better. But sometimes we need motivation. Check out um, Neural Nerds. Check out AVM Superhero. There's so many um, uh, stroke survivors who are opening their lives up to help motivate, motivate and inspire us. So thank you everybody who has opened up their life to inspire other stroke survivors. We are brother, like my brother, um, AVM superhero says all the time, when I meet another stroke survivor, they become my brother and sister because they know what we deal with. I mean, doctors, health professionals, they, they can read stuff from studies, they can read reports, but until you've had a stroke, you don't understand. Even those who are caregivers to stroke survivors, sometimes they don't even understand who or what they are giving care to. They, they're confused <laughs> as fuck, excuse my English, but they're confused too. And, and we're the only ones that understand our plight because we are stroke survivors and sometimes you can't express what we're feeling, what's in our minds um, all the time. And those things are not in books. Those things are not in reports. I mean, you can go to school and learn about medicine, physical therapy, occupational therapy, psychology, you can go to school to learn about being an engineer or whatever, law, or whatever. But until you become a whatever it is, you don't understand. So connect with other stroke survivors. Learn their story. Be inspired. Um, be encouraged and get motivated. The motivation and encouragement and inspiration is an everyday thing. And you don't, you just have to connect with certain um, stroke survivors. And you have to be, you have to discern too because you don't want to connect with the wrong thing. So whatever moves you, whatever your um your energy is you know just trust it and trust yourself because life is meant to be enjoyed don't sit around being depressed and sad we had enough of that um at least for me my first two two years it was like if you see my videos it wasn't always happy you know, and, but I want to, I'm getting out of that. And so sometimes we have to tap in to other stroke survivors and encourage, encourage each other, inspire each other. So I hope that helps if you're dealing with something or just, or in a humdrum in a humdrum state, it's just, it doesn't have to stay there, it's just a humdrum, just get out of it, so I hope that makes sense today, hope you understand, have a fabulous week, have a wonderful, wonderful day, my name is Trezana Staple, and I had a stroke. I am a stroke survivor. I am a phoenix rising. Thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in. And I'll see you soon. Peace, love, and light.